Hi, my name is Linda Pavick and I'm the owner of Copper Touch. And if you are following us online, please go to coppertouch.com and check out our two great products. We have the Santa Disc and the Santa Bar. And please read all of our science as well when you've got the time. I think you're going to be fascinated at the properties of copper and what these products can do. And I'm going to introduce Dr. Jonathan DeVries, who's one of our scientists. Hi, Dr. Jonathan. Hi. We are really so lucky to have him with us to answer these types of questions. And what we're trying to do here with a lot of the short videos that you're going to be able to take a look at along the line with Dr. Jonathan and also with the inventor, Bob Essie, what we're trying to do is we're trying to answer questions that you folks out there have been asking us and wondering about. So one of the questions is what kinds of things are made out of copper other than copper touch, of course, and what are they being used for? Okay, yes. Copper has been widely used for a lot of important uses, as you know. It's right. used for the plumbing and electricity in your house, but I think you're referring mostly to antimicrobial properties. Yes. And in ancient times, they realized that if they made buckets out of copper, the water didn't get slimy compared to wood and so copper was a good preservative to keep their water fresh. They also used it to treat wounds, such that when people had a wound, they, they would rub it on, it would kill the bacteria and clear up the infection. So, so they figured it out r rather by trial effect. and error. Now, now that all kind of fell away when the antibiotics came along. Mm -hmm. Antibiotic is much easier to use, easier to prescribe, and so the use of copper as an antimicrobial, you know, basically Did it disappear? disappears, went off the map. And now it's coming back again because there's a realization that if you make key subsurfaces, such as in hospitals, such as the bed rails, the doorknobs, the parts wherever the nurses work and so forth, the antimicrobial properties help to kill the bacteria and control the infectious disease levels in those hospitals. So there are an awful lot of things, an awful lot of equipment that is now being made out of copper that used to be made out of stainless steel because of its antimicrobial properties. Very important for infection control. So uh, we're, we're, we're moving in the direction of copper medically. Would that be a true statement? I would say definitely. It's a very, very definite uh, fact. At, at the medical community is embracing it for infection control. And there's a large number of studies, large-scale studies, that show that the reduction of MRSA and other infections is, is dramatically reduced. Well, thank you for sharing all that information with us today, Dr. DeVries. And that is all for this particular show. We hope to see you on another one. Remember, we're coppertouch.com, and thank you for joining us.